Now I lost signal altogether. Okay, now we just came back. <laughs> and I'm coming back at only about 20 miles per hour. Uh, just to show you, just to give you an idea as to how strong the wind is today. Um, so I'm back at about 14,000 feet and have about 17 minutes remaining. Oh, wow. Um, maybe this might not have been a good idea today. Signal loss. Oh my gosh, this is scary. Okay, so everything is set up. About to do this long distance test or a long range test. I'm gonna try to go to the island all the way to the, I guess, west. So everything is a check. Okay, so everything is good to go. Set the home point. Now, I'm gonna carry it up to about 200 feet. Huh? Yeah. About three miles out. Huh? About three miles out. Yeah. I'm going over. I think you're blocking the road though. Okay, right now I'm about 164 feet up in the air. About a distance of 1500 feet. Uh, my battery is 100% which is as good as it gets. Now, the last time I did this, my phone battery was the X-Factor. Um, I reached about 1600 feet and that was with a Mavic Pro 2. But unfortunately, my battery on my phone went down to like 20%, so I had to hot tail it back to the home point. Um, so hopefully with a, a battery power of at least, I think it was like 90%, uh, I should be good to go, especially with this Mavic Air 2, which can go even further than the, the Mavic Pro 2. So right now I'm at about 4,000 feet, no I lie, 3,600 feet and going. I already halfway there, yeah. Okay, I'm getting a few uh, weak signal loss, but uh, maybe I should go a little higher. Huh? Hi, man, cool. We had a little spectator there. Uh, he actually subscribed to my channel on the spot, so thanks a lot. What? Weak signal work? That's not good at all. Okay, let me carry it up to about 190. Yeah, about 186. That should be good. Um, 6,000 feet right about now. Uh, it's kind of windy out today. Uh, I think according to the weatherman, it's about uh, maybe about 10, 15 um, knots. So. see how that pans out for this drone. I mean, um, I'm only about 7,500 feet out, but I keep on getting a weak signal. Not sure what's going on there, but um, kind of scary. <laughs> my gosh. Now, this is my only, this is only my second time flying this drone, so. I'm taking a major chance 
in uh, pushing it to the limit, but you know, that's how I do it. I believe, and if you have a toy, um, you should push it to the limits so you'll know what kind of tool you have if and when the need ever arrives. Let me see if I carry it a little higher. Okay, 230 feet. Vertically, now this is not a, a area where planes or helicopter flies, so I'm safe. And especially this drone, there's that uh, feature where if there's a nearby uh, airplane or any kind of aerial, um, aerial um, vehicle, you get uh, a signal. Um, so you can always make adjustments on the spot. Okay, so right now I just passed 10,000 feet. So I'm at about uh, two miles away from home. I'm moving at about 26.7 miles per hour. Um, according to this here, I have, I have about 28 minutes of flight remaining in the battery. I have 18 GPS uh, satellites, but I still have a weak ass system. I, I mean, signal, I don't know. What's going on there? I would at least like to reach and pass the tree marker that I I had with on um, the Mavic Pro 2. Uh, for this to be a success, anything less would be a disappointment. Okay, that's 13,000 feet and going. Still have 25 to 26 minutes of flight time remaining. And I'm just at 14,000 feet. I'm almost to just Van Dyke. We should go a little higher just to be on the safe side. Okay. No. <laughs> I have my phone and do not disturb, but yet calls are still coming through. I don't like that. Okay, 15,000 feet weak, weak signal. I think I should, I think I should turn it around. Yeah, just to be on the safe side. Um, yeah, at least I got to about uh, 15,500 feet roughly. Um, you know, it's the first try. Um, it's not going to be the last one. I don't know. I need to check and see what's up with that weak signal, you know? Um, this thing's supposed to have the AccuSync too. And supposed to go to 10 kilometers, which is roughly about 6 miles. But, um... I don't know. Now I lost signal altogether. Okay, now we just came back <laughs> and I'm coming back at only about 20 miles per hour. Uh, just to show you, just to give you an idea as to how strong the wind is today. Um, so I'm back at about 14,000 feet and have about 17 minutes remaining. Oh, wow. Um, maybe this might not have been a good idea today. <laughs> Oh man, let's see, let's see. Signal loss. I got that signal loss, but I'm pushing. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is scary.
This is very, very, very scary. What the hell was I thinking? I'm now back at about two miles out. I'm moving much, much slower because I'm, I'm flying into the wind. Uh, so, that's never a good thing. I got about 15 minutes of flight time and I'm doing about 17 and a half miles per hour and I'm back at about uh, 11,000 miles. So I'm gonna make it, but it's gonna be very, very tight in terms of battery power. <laughs> oh my gosh, my risk might have finally, my high risk taken might have finally caught up to me. I'm at about 10,000 feet and about 13 minutes of flight to go. Hey, how are you? Thousand feet, I lost connection to the aircraft. Uh, canceling, a cancel return to home because I'm almost there. Oh wow! I don't know. It's very strange. I'm, I'm like nine thousand feet away. There's no cell phone to towers anywhere around, but yet the signal was very weak. Eight thousand feet away, roughly, and about twelve minutes remaining of battery time. Weak signal. Weak signal. I'm about 7,500 feet remaining. Whew. I'm almost there. But again, the weak signal is really disturbing. Oh man, a little frightening. Now I'm only moving at about 17 miles per hour. Moving very, very slow. Uh, maybe the wind, the wind strength might be a little bit too much for this drone because I have to remember it's a, a much smaller drone compared to like the um, the Phantom, which I've done this route before. And even the Mavic Pro 2 is, is, is smaller than that and the, the engines may not be as powerful um, as those other drones. So. Um, 
Yeah. Okay. I'm at, at about 6,000 feet. Can't see it. The place is very hazy. Uh, I don't know what's up with that. Because the sun is out pretty hot. But um, usually this is a time of the year where we have a lot of the Sahara de desert dust uh, coming from that side of the world. So I don't know if that's one of those situations. Um, but yeah. Okay, I'm at about one mile out, 5,200 feet. Uh, closer to land, just a little bit more. Uh, now this is telling me I'm about 47%. Oh, I was reading it wrong. Bruh. There's 47% of battery life and they estimated to be about nine minutes of flight time. Um, you know, for what that's worth. See, that's how you learn about your aircraft or any kind of toy that you have. It's not about reading books and, you know, the do's and don'ts. No, you have to learn about it through trial and error. Okay? I know it's a very expensive lesson, or it can be a very expensive lesson at times, but um, when you do come out on top, it's like you tend to know what your toy is all about. Because like for me, right away, I know this isn't the drone for strong weather um, or, or strong wind. I uh, would not be making that mistake again. Okay, um, I think I might be able to start descending a bit. I'm coming down to about maybe 150 feet. To see the beach where I'm standing. I'm at about 3,000 feet out. Still have about 40% of battery life. You could hear my audio properly because I was very windy, and then with the waves beating on the shore, um, it's also kind of noisy. Okay, now that I'm out of the channel, the aircraft speed up or sped up to about 22 miles per hour, but then it came back down to about 14. So, so yeah, wind is definitely a factor here. It definitely is a factor. Now I would love to see the actual video to see how it ended up um, because the feed on my uh, phone was very stuttery at times, uh, very jittery. So I would love to see how the final video is. Now it, it got back up to about 25 miles per hour. Isn't that very interesting? Okay, let me start sending even more to about Maybe about 30 feet. No, I'll leave it at 50. Can't see it yet. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. Oh, look at that. I, I see it. Wow. Whew. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> I don't think I'm doing this for a while. At least not in this weather. Wow. Welcome back, my boy. Okay. Now I came back, I have about 32% um, percent of battery, and uh, yeah, so that's about it. Uh, so uh, thank you for watching this video, um, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. So until next time, peace.